Let me set this down here. And I'm recording. Perfect. Have you lost your religious path? If you are a LDS saint in today's society, you'll find that otherworldly, you know, distractions and lots of opinions you find out on the web kind of bump you off the path a little bit. And then you hear the news about what's happening in the world and that just bumps you off even more. And my point is, if you've lost your path, if you've lost your way on the straight and narrow path and you are just barely touching the iron rod, if you get what I'm saying, then this video is for you. You are, if you are afraid that you will not get into heaven, do you want to see a loved one one day for some reason? There is still hope. See, Heavenly Father knew that we would make these decisions he knows the world from beginning to end, so he knows every sin you'll make and every repentance that you will pray for. So what I'm suggesting you take meaningful baby steps towards, especially with mental issues like depression and suicidal ideation and grief and mourning and anything along the lines of that makes you just not want to do it. And a part of that reason is, is the adversary see when you have these diagnosed mental issues it is a psychology problem yes i agree 100 percent with that but it's also what's making it worse is having these mental issues weakens your relationship with heavenly father it it weakens you your stamina and your strength against the adversary because when you're faithful and you're going to church and you're reading the scriptures and everything like that it's way hard to get tricked into doing this stuff like that so I'll go over to my grandma Tonya's house where I go to church and read scriptures and learn things and everything like that and do religious stuff. And I think when I go home, I'm going to keep this. But because of my home has really bad energy about it, there's a lot of fighting. It just has this deep weighing energy about it. And I keep my promise for a couple days. I'm, I'm reading scriptures. I'm praying. I'm still kind of... And then I just get bored of it and return to a sinful life again. And that is, you know, my with my situation, it's hard. But I'm going to open the shrubs a little bit and show you a different path you could take that leads back to the straight and narrow. Now, if you're like me, you've lost someone. And maybe you've lost a couple of people. And maybe you're afraid that you're not gonna go to heaven and maybe you are afraid of fire and brimstone. But I'm here to tell you that it is biblical truth that there are three versions of heaven and there is first is the telestial one where you're you get to be with heavenly father and it's the heaven that we're all visualizing and then the second one is what we call the glory of the moon and the glory of the moon is people who are good people but they're down a notch you know what i'm saying and there's less in that version of heaven. And glory of the stars is just down another notch as well. Still people who deserve to go to heaven. And I'm telling you right now, if you are LDS, this truth is that everyone is going to heaven. Only a select few just genuinely really, really, really bad people.